we are going to read from Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 10 and verse 29. Numbers from the Old Testament, chapter 10 and verse 29. Now Moses said to Hobab, the son of Reuel, the Midianite, Moses' Moses's father-in-law, we are setting out for the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well, for the Lord has promised good things to Israel. And he said to him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and my relatives. So Moses said, Please do not leave in as much as you know how we are to camp in the wilderness, and you can be our eyes. And it shall be, if you go with us, indeed it shall be, that whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same we will do to you. So they departed from the mountain of the Lord on a journey of three days. And the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them for the three days journey to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was above them by day when they went out from the camp. So it was whenever the ark set out that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the many thousands of Israel. Amen. Moses, the servant of God, he was good and a faithful servant in the midst of all people. About when he was uh, 40 years of age, with the revelation of God, knowing that God has prepared salvation for Israel through him, he decided to depart uh, Egypt and be afflicted with the people of Israel. But the people of Israel did not understand that because it was not yet the time that God has foreseen and planned by the Lord f for the specific Pharaoh would be in place and to use that Pharaoh to rise up his own power and show his almighty strength to people with his seven Moses and that is why 40 years of age he departed from Egypt as far as I was searching for him to put him to the sword and he was found in the land of Madiam and he was next to the river and seven of the uh, children seven of the daughters of the king of the place came and they tried to fill up with water their canisters and Moses helped them and when they came back back to their f father's house with the with the vessels full of water uh, the father asked them how come that you are so quick and they replied that a man from Egypt was uh, helping us out and they called him to eat with them and he found it a good place to dwell Moses and the father gave Sephora to him And he was also made a shepherd to uh, to his father-in-law's uh, ship. And with great uh, and magnificent revelation and miracles, he returned to Egypt. And with him, God worked and the Israelite people went out of Egypt and they were captured and afflicted all those years in Egypt. But... Far in Egypt were completely destroyed. Now they passed the Red Sea and they were found in the desert. And in this desert they were found. 
Moses was never found before. Didn't know the place. And he was afraid, thinking to himself, what am I supposed to do here? How am I supposed to lead these people? I do not know where to camp in the desert or how to walk accordingly in the desert. And he looked next to him and it so happened at this area, at that time, at that very hour, that Moses was considered, was considering about these things, the brother of his wife, Hobab, the son of Reuel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law. And he found a challenge to ask for help. And he said to Hobab, Please come with us. Because the Lord said to us, that he is going to lead us in a place that will be pouring out milk and honey. And he's going to bless us and give that place to us. And whatever God is going to give to us, we're also going to give to you. And as far as God is going to bless us, we're going to bless you. But come with us, because we have the desert to go through now. And we do not know how to camp or how to move in the wilderness. And Hoibab said, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and my relatives. But Moses insisted. Hobab means beloved. And he said to Hobab, Please, do not leave. We are not able to camp in the wilderness, and you know about this desert better than us. You can be your eyes. And Hobab even though that he was a Midianite, even though he was not from the people of Israel, even though he was useless in front of the eyes of God for the people of Israel, as the Midianites were the enemies of the people of Israel, moving forward and until the end, and the last work that God has given to Moses as we read in the Bible that the Lord said to Moses now avenge against the Midianites and then you'll be added to your people the last mission that God has given to Moses was to destroy the Midianites and he did because the Midianites were the reason for much uh, destruction as they gave the daughters to the people of Israel as uh, Balak and Balaam uh, instructed them to do and now a person in front of the eyes of God who is useless not just useless but an enemy of the people of Israel as he was a Midianite himself he showed compassion and accepted the invitation of Moses and he followed the people of Israel with the intention to lead the people of Israel unfortunately uh, however though it, he didn't need to because the people of Israel, uh, even through the fears and the troubles of Moses, the people of Israel were led by God. As he was sending, as they were sending the ark of the, for the road for a road of three days to search out a resting place for them. But the, also the cloud of the Lord was above them by day and when they went out from the camp the people w would move out and they would move forward ac according to the, pl to the path that God was showing and whenever the ark was set out and the people of Israel rather were waiting for the cloud of the Lord to move forward so that they can move forward 
and this is something we need to have in mind and desire in the New Testament the guidance of the Spirit with the cloud of the Lord but what really matters is what happened next to Hoibab the person that abandoned his own land and relatives with the intention to help out the people of Israel and I repeat what would happen and what actually happened to this person who was a Midianite who was useless and an enemy to the people of the Lord because of his generation who abandoned his land and relatives I repeat he did not go back to the Midianite land but he followed the people of Israel not because he believed in God but because he thought to himself and decided to help, to help out the people of Israel to reach their destination how important is it for us to offer our help when we are asked for it and I want to remind you something when Paul Luke and Silas they were an obstacle to the path of the Lord because they wanted to preach in places that were different than what the Lord wanted and they found themselves in a small village to us they didn't know what to do there there was a dead end and of course they prayed and the Lord showed to them a vision in the night where a man from Macedonia reached Paul and said please come to us and help us and Paul understood that God is inviting them to go to Macedonia and when someone is asking you for help think to yourself that God is sending you to go firstly to bless them and secondly to bless you never uh, decline when someone is asking us for help no matter what that is of course unless it is something that is wicked and uh, a sin the result is that after 40 years after the people of Israel uh, defiled the name of God and the first generation left their bones in the midst of uh, the desert because of their iniquity to the word of the Lord the next generation came to the people of Israel all the tribes and with them Hobab and his family the miraculous thing though is that God led Hobab with his family there were Halib was a special and unique I would dare say person of God that had a different mindset and a different spirit that was following completely the Lord I may even say an apostolic kind of mindset who did not see the difficulties with the spirit uh, eyes of this earth and the problems that the people of Israel were about to, in, to, to come against as he was sent with another f 11 spies but he did not see the, the giants of the place he did not see the fortresses they had like Jericho he did not see the afflictions that were about uh, to come to the people of Israel once they moved in but what he saw was God moving forward because God instructed him to go there and that is why we have two people Halib that God instructed 
and commanded but unfortunately because of the iniquity and disbelief of the others that were able to draw all the people of Israel they were going round and round in the desert for 40 years he was able to survive and when in a uh, great age he was able to reach the land of promises as he was from the tribe of Judah he uh, he reached the earth and he became an heir of the promises that were given to the tribe of Judah from which David came King David came the father of Christ the son of the living God and as he was sent by God Caleb as he was faithful to the promises of God he went and he was found an heir to the promises that given to Judah that was the one tribe that had remained to be the people of Israel but also the second one Hobab that God has sent not with the same manner of faith but with a different way of helping out of assisting as he as he was ple as Moses asked him to please come with us and help us through the wilderness because we do not know what to do and how to do it you will be like our eyes And Hobab was convinced. He declined his own house, his own generation. And he himself alone, with uh, the wife of Moses, he followed the people of Israel as he was if he was sent by God. Because we know that he went because he thought of it being a compassion a act of love uh, and assisting of to Moses but we know that via this way he was sent by God and he a person useless a Midianite as sent by God now has become a receiver of the same heritage as Halep in the tribe of Judah that was the kingman the the tribe from which uh, King David came forward and Jesus Christ later on in other words Hobab did not go where he wanted to go because he did not know he did not go where he wanted to go because they did not think he did not think but he went where God wanted him to go without understanding it and this is the message we have today for our own selves our lives our household and church lives when someone asks you from uh, asks from you to help him out immediately think when someone is re inquiring of you to help him out think and understand that the Lord is asking you to go so that he may bless them and us when a person is sent by God he is enjoying the guidance of God the security of God but also and especially he is enjoying the blessing of God the glory of God and the heritage that is unique as he is sent by God let us do not look away when someone is asking us and t is telling us come and help me immediately think and think to yourself even better uh, think that God has prepared a blessing for us there and for them 
but spiritually also we need to think that the Lord is sending us so that he may do his work and for us to complete his word as sent as uh, messengers of God and this is the truth Hoibab and especially th th his brothers coming from Reuel, the Midianite, f uh, Moses' father-in-law, had a unique heritage in the people of Israel up until now. Even though he was a Midianite, even though as a nation, uh, an enemy of uh, the people of Israel, even though he was useless in the work of the Lord, the the, the fact that he accepted to become an assistant to the people of God sent out by God to the work of the Lord without him even understanding it he became a blessed person a participant of the people of Israel a blessed one indeed a glorious a place and a person and family in the heritage of God and we may dare even say a place in the church of God a blessed person even though that he was useless but for God he who is considered useless to people for God he is considered the most valuable only because he accepted with love to help when he was asked and in reality he became a tool and a vessel of choice in the hands of God may God help us to always be prepared for to help out others and for us to combine that and understand how important it is when we enter the Holy of Holies and stand in front of the throne of God what is happening then we are receiving mercy and we are finding grace for the times of need in the same way when someone does not know about the throne of God but when he is reaching near to do what God wants him to do he is enjoying the mercy of God and he is enjoying the grace of the Lord for the time of need as it happened for Hobab the Midianite the useless person in front of the eyes of God that God however used and considered valuable even though that he never needed him he never needed him because God has prepared everything in the life of uh, the Israelites it does not matter where God is sending you you're gonna work extensively the thing is and what matters is that you go where God is sending you you are not struggling you don't think of it twice you go and eventually you may not be needed because God is able to do everything in our lives as everything is prepared I mean